This film was shot at the DMRC site, New Delhi. In the background, you can see a lot of cranes at work, both telescopic and fixed boom type. We are focusing on the A to B switch. It is the yellow switch mounted on the boom head of the crane. The function of this switch is to prevent overhoisting. Overhoisting is a major cause of crane accidents at sites. Here you see another close up view of the A to B switch. Another important component of the safe load indicator is the tensiometer. This measures the tension in the steel rope. This tension is one of the key inputs to the software of the computing system. N now you see the boom length and angle sensor mounted on the boom of a telescopic crane. It is an integral part of the SLI system. It measures the boom length and angle of the boom. These inputs again are essential for the computing of the safe operating load. The power filter circuit is used to remove the electrical noise from the power supply. The inputs from the tensiometer, boom length and angle sensor are processed in the signal conditioning unit. Then they are fed into the computing system. Here we see the signal conditioner and power filter mounted inside a crane cabin. On the screen we see angle sensors to measure the angle of the boom in crawler and portal cranes. As you can observe it is different from the telescopic boom cranes. Until now we have seen the back-end components of the SLI system and every system must have an input output interface for proper functioning. On the screen now you see the user-friendly digital indicator. With minimal training, the crane operators can start to use the system. The light on the system turns red in unsafe conditions and the system is then cut off. Now we will see the demonstration of the SLI system in operation. On the screen, we see a vibratory head pulling out a girder from the ground. Since the girder is fixed in the ground, and the load acting on the crane is beyond the safe limit, the SLI system will cut off the crane's operations. It is done by the solenoid valves seen here. These valves cut off the pneumatic or hydraulic power to the various lifting functions of the crane. After the crane has been immobilized by the cutoff system, the bypass key switch can be used only by the site supervisor to bring the crane back into safe conditions and operation. To protect life and property from crane accidents, use safe load indicator systems.